Today we're going to be just looking at some Glaminatrix single eyeshadows that I recently purchased off the Glaminatrix website. I've been wanting to try their single eyeshadows for such a long time now that I decided to buy, I think it was maybe volume one, I could be wrong, but you get like six individual shimmer eyeshadows. Now, I don't believe these ones are duochrome, multi-chrome as such, but they're just very glittery. And whilst I did purchase six individual compacts, which open up so that you can put the eyeshadow in them, these are all blank, uh, I didn't realize that by doing so that I'll be covering up the names of the colors. Now, I attempted to try and peel off the back of the uh, sticker, the pan, like the stick, I'll show you. For example, I've, I've got them just housed in this um, Cleonad uh, magnetic palette here. So these are the Glaminatrix eyeshadow palettes, one, two, three, four, five, six. The rest of the eyeshadows on this end, the four up the top are by Cleona, and these two also by Cleona. Um, or Cleonad, I'm not, not, I'm not sure really if I'm pronouncing that correct, but see these six um, little individual pans here. They do fit beautifully in here, but um, in terms of when you put them in here, there's you can't actually see through it because there's a little uh, thing marking it inside. Now, it's like I did try to remove this but i think if i do remove it then the it's possible that the eyeshadow compact inside will become wobbly so um yeah and you can't see the name on the back there because it's covered by this little um i think it's a seal just a little seal but anyway these will come in handy with other individual eyeshadow palettes if i do decide to purchase some more in the future be it other brands or whatnot but anyway um so that is the Glaminatrix Single Pan Shadow Compact, um, which I have six of those, and that's okay. That's They weren't that expensive at all, so that was quite good, actually. Let's go ahead and do some swatches of the shades that I got. Now, I'm just going to randomly pull out this one here. I accidentally dug my nail into this one here, so... And I know this one's going to be called Bear because that was the first one that I actually received um, on the top of the pile. So I'm going ahead to pull out Bear. And this is, is it Bear? I'll just make sure. Yeah, it is. This is Bear. And it's like a cool taupe shade. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a swatch. These are so freaking creamy. It's like not not funny look at that oh my goodness guys what what in the frick it's like molten gold although this is a top a top shade how beautiful what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the swatches and then i'm going to sort of shimmer them out after i've finished um doing the swatches so that's bare i'm going to put that one aside Moving on, we have Panda. This is Panda. It's sort of like a soft gold. So let's go in with a clean finger and swatch that next to Bear. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me with this? Like seriously, they're so smooth. They don't feel glittery whatsoever. And just as I had always imagined from previous reviews that I've seen, um, you know, I know that there's some really obsessed people out there with indie makeup that, you know, buy a lot of um, Glaminatrix. And, you know, now I know what they're talking about. Now I know what the fuss is about. <laughs> okay, moving on. Let's go on to the next one. This one here is called Lion. Okay, Lion. This is more like a even warmer gold. So going in with a clean finger to swatch out Lion. So we've got Bear, Panda, Lion. 
Holy moly. What, what, what? I mean, just beautiful, right? I'm just gonna, oh, just so beautiful. Next we have, and this one here is called Fox. Now I know that you're thinking to yourself, they all look the same because they do actually when you see them all close next to each other, but that's why I'm doing the swatches so we can differentiate um, between the colors. These were the ones that really appealed to me when I was doing my, you know, I was like, which ones am I gonna find the most useful when I do this purchase, you know? Wow, that's like a rose gold absolutely stunning i'm just trying to see if there's any shift to these no not really in just the fact that they are so highly reflective that i have i'm lost for words honestly i'm a loss for words next we have two more left the second last one is called mink this is mink This is more like a silvery gray color. Let's go ahead and swatch that. I'm gonna use my thumb for this one and we'll go and do mink. Wow, absolutely magnificent. Okay, and one, two, three, four, five, six, how can I have done, I've only got five fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I cleaned my index finger, I didn't realize. No, Julie, you don't have six fingers on one hand. Go ahead, oh sorry, this one here is called Kitten and it's like a pinky, silvery gray. Kitten. Oh my goodness. These are absolutely just beautiful. I'm going to do a separate video where I actually try these on my eyelid. Uh, I'm not going to do it now because um, this was just simply a swatch video of these gorgeous shades. So Bear, we had Panda, we had Lion, we had Fox, we had Mink, and then we had Kitten. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Guys, I am so excited to put these on my eyes. Oh, I said I was going to shear them out a bit. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, you know what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean this hand with my towel. And let's go ahead and sort of shear this out a bit. I mean, this just is going for days, really. I need to clean my hand off again with the towel and then I mean I, these could probably wrap right around my hand with the way and the amount of coverage that it's giving me thank you so much for watching this video guys if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and uh yeah, who's keen on trying Glaminatrix eyeshadows? Let me know in the comments below if you already have these uh, shades. Do you own anything from Glaminatrix Cosmetics? They did come out with little quads and um, the one that I wanted to get was actually sold out. So yeah, that was a bit of a bummer. But hopefully they'll come back out with, but hopefully they'll come back out with some more. And um, yeah, if you guys have tried uh, Glaminatrix eyeshadows in the past. What are your thoughts? I just, um, I'm definitely a fan and I know that these are going to go on the eyes with just an absolute amount of ease and I can't wait to see how they look. So on that note, I am going to love you and leave you and I'll see you all again in my next video. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye for now.